the type of offense we play. You know, we play multiple tight ends and do a ton of different jobs from blocking to receiving to pass protection. To, so I could see him fitting in multiple roles because he's got a skill set that allows him to do a lot of things. So, um, you know, he, he's continuing to grow um, as a tight end, you know, and uh, I, I'm excited for him this fall. You mentioned he's continuing to grow. Um, I'm Joe Smelter in any sports yeah, now, by how the way. You doing, man? Good, how are you? Good, good. Yeah, so uh, Khalil physically has grown a lot. I think he's yeah. gained about 30 pounds uh, since he got to Penn State. Um, and according to James, talking with us uh, in India a few weeks ago, he has been able to put on that weight without losing any of his attributes, which speed, et cetera. Um, how big has it been for him to transform himself like that? Um, and how has he embraced, I guess, being a complete tight end, which you guys preach at Penn State, blocking yeah. and catching at the same time? So. You know, it's been huge. You know, obviously our strength staff does an amazing job, you know, and so they're putting weight on guys the right way. Um, and that's part of the ability for him to put that on and, and not lose speed or change direction or anything like that. I mean, they obviously do an awesome job. So um, that hadn't been an issue at all. Um, but he, he has strength. He, he can run. He's physical. Um, so, you know, I could see him carving out a role and, and he, he's grown into a guy that can, you know, be a true tight end and, and complete tight end, you know, in the run game, pass game. Um, so, you know, I, I'm really excited to uh, keep him coming to this camp and, and see, uh, see him play this fall. Is that ever a challenge with players to kind of buy into the concept of one, expecting uh, Penn State tight ends to be complete because obviously some players want to focus on one strength. Uh, but generally speaking, um, is it usually a challenge to get people to buy into wanting to be able to do everything a tight end is capable of doing so? Yeah, I, I, it hasn't been a challenge here. Uh, maybe some other places, but uh, you know, here at Penn State, I mean, you know, we've been fortunate to have a bunch of really complete tight ends. You know, going back to my playing days with Jesse and you know, mm -hmm. all those guys and Pat. Expected to do it all, you know, from a, yep. from a schematic standpoint. So guys buy into that right away because you know that that's what they want to do. They want to be the next one of those guys or like those guys. And so we have a really good culture in that room of hey, this is what we do. This is how we do things. Um, this is how we play the game. So um, it hasn't been a challenge. Yeah, so Andrew uh, came in in the summer, and I'm pretty sure Joey came in in the winter. Uh, so you've seen more of Joey. But what have you seen from those two uh, as just true freshmen coming in? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about those guys. I mean, they're, they're working at it. Um, obviously, you know, from a physical standpoint, um, understand the techniques and those things that we're teaching and, and, and get them to do the things that we need them to do. Um, but then from a physical standpoint, I mean, they're both big and fast and, and strong. And, so we're um, we're excited about the future for those guys, and, you know. And they're both guys who approach it day by day and trying to get better every day. And we have some great examples in the room, you know, from Theo to Tyler to Khalil to Jerry. You know, we got we got awesome, awesome leaders in the tight end room, and so um, they have great examples to follow. So Theo's been here a while now. Uh, would you say he's the leader um, of the tight end room? And if so, um, how do you think the younger guys have kind of learned from what he's able to do? Yeah, you know, I, I think the, the fun thing about the tight end room is we, we got some really strong leaders. You know, Theo, um, obviously, and Tyler, obviously, is one. And, you know, and those guys kind of play off of each other. Um, you know, and they both lead by example, which is the big thing to me. It's like when I pop on the film, you know, they're great examples like, hey, this is how we do this drill or this is how we do this thing and um, off the field, this is how we do this and we're 10 minutes early and, um, you know, so we, we've got tremendous leadership from that standpoint, even, you know, down to, to, to you know, Khalil and Jerry and yeah. I mean, because all those guys, they work really well together and that's one of the big pieces to me is the cohesiveness. You know, we, they all know we need everyone in that tight end room to be successful. Um, and, and so, you know, but Theo has really taken on a, a really nice leadership role in the tight end room. Um, and so has Tyler. So it's been, it's been awesome having this two in the room.